Hello houseplant friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is weird. <laughs> so I got tagged by Caitlin from Plant Life in the Tropics Hello. to film the Never Have I Ever challenge with the drinking and the plant questions. But also, <sighs> We found thrips in my greenhouse and it's a problem. They've been in there for at least two days. I didn't see them in there before that, but also I wasn't expecting to like be looking for thrips. I'm going to clean my greenhouse and then I'll just do random check-ins with you and let you know what is happening because I can't film the entire thing because what I'm going to do basically for the greenhouse is I'm going to unpot every plant and throw the soil away because thrips live in the soil. Then once I have all of my plants unpotted, I'm going to clean off every single part of the plant and then I'm going to wipe down the entire greenhouse, then I'm going to wash the pots, and then I'm going to repot. So I'm expecting this to take at least five to six hours, okay? But also, I want to do the Never Have I Ever Challenge. And I hate sitting down and just filming and talking to the camera. It's boring to edit. If I think it's boring to watch, you guys probably don't want to watch because if I don't want to watch it, why the heck would you want to watch it? So I'm hoping that I caught this before the situation got pretty bad. My problem with thrips is that not only can they bite humans, but they can also bite pets. And I don't like that. So I have my drink. I use, I think it's called like a buzz ball. So it's 15% alcohol. It made, it's smaller than a glass of wine. It, it's made out of orange wine with then like some juices thrown into it. This should be interesting. Before I get any further into this video, I want to let you guys know who I'm tagging. I'm only tagging one houseplant YouTuber, and that is Plants with Lucia, who has now rebranded as Lulu's Leaves. How cute is that? That is so cute! She is an awesome girl. I absolutely have been loving her videos. It genuinely feels like you're actually hanging out with her. And she also does really, really, really cool makeup stuff. I don't know if she actually does tutorials because I'm only watching her plant content, but her eye makeup in almost every single one of the videos is like... So I'm super excited to see your take, Lucia. Before we get into the thrips, I'm going to answer a couple of the questions. Never have I ever killed a cactus. I've never killed one, but I did throw one away, which is probably the same thing. That's strong. Never have I ever took a plant cutting that was on the ground of a plant nursery. I definitely have done that uh, in the very beginning. I only ever did it from Home Depot and uh, it was actually from a live plant and I did it twice and I think it was the first or second week that I was into plants and I didn't know any better because I was like, oh, it's just a plant, it'll grow back. But I've since been enlightened and I'm not afraid to admit it. Actually, I'm a little afraid to admit it because I'm a super big advocate of like, don't do that and I did that, but I'm not doing it anymore. It's once you realize, once you know that it's wrong and then continue to do it, that's a problem. Well, it's also a problem that people don't know that it's wrong, but I feel like 50% of people in the house plant community think it's okay, which is a problem. Ugh! My goodness. Never have I ever spent more than $100 on one plant. In January, I spent $400 on an elbow. It's, I was saved up for that purpose. All right, that's three. Let's get going with this. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing to prepare for dealing with the fallout of this is I'm going to be uh, putting down some plastic. I'm so scared of thrips, guys. I think that they're the most like disgusting pests, not just because the way that they look, but like the name, like thrip. Oh, it sounds like an STD. My biggest fear is that the thrips are gonna like use this time to try to advance into the rest of my house. Okay, cool, let's do this. Here's the plastic that I put down. I tucked it underneath the plastic mat to get it to stay in there. <laughs> so let me just run you through the products that we're using. Normally I would want to be using latex gloves. I seem to be out. So I have these gloves that I'm going to be using. They're cactus gloves. I have a trash bag I'm going to use to depot all my plants and put the soil in here. I have Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew. Main ingredient is spinosad, which is the bane of Thrip's existence. I have Lysol to wipe down my entire greenhouse when I'm done, and this to spray the pesticide on to then wipe down the leaves. Those two little black dots right there are not spider mites, they are thrips. They are little babies. I think I just saw a big one that I just killed. I'm not sure. Um, it was a really big bug that I've never seen before. You can tell it's thrip because of all the marks on the leaf that weren't there before they've been eating it. 
There's also some on this new leaf. This is where I found the first one, which by the way, look at how beautiful that looks. Same thing here, you can see the little, all, the, all those little yellow spots are all fruit bites. They seem to really like the philodendron. I think because they are the tastiest, like philodendron will put out uh, little nectaries more than most other plants. Those are also the same two that I saw um, a couple days ago, or two days ago now. This is completely unrelated, but look at this. My Cortesi eye is coming back to life, and I'm so happy. Look, it's got two leaves right there, and that one right there. The only new plants have been this begonia. Did really well for my friend Hannah, but she sent it to me and then it just died. And then this fern. So it had to be one of those two because I never bring new plants in here. Like if I bring a new plant in here, I've had it for like a month or two in my main room to make sure that there's no bugs because this is such a small area. If there's going to be a bug outbreak, it's going to be big. So <sighs> it's okay. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Everything will be good. Okay, so I want to give you guys an update on the situation. So I have the entire left side of the greenhouse uh, empty and here are all of the plants. I have set them up as carefully as I can. I'm nervous about the begonias because I did have to spray them down. I wiped them off immediately so I'm hoping it'll be fine. The one plant I'm not unpotting is this one. So he'll go in a quarantine by himself until I can make sure that he is thrift free. Then I have these ones. I did discover some damage. It's hard to tell, but there's some pretty significant thrift damage right here and uh, underneath the squammy. So he's gonna be one I probably also might isolate. And then another thing is like this uh, El Choco Red has also pretty significant uh, thrip damage right there. Something else I noticed is I'm so bad at doing even waterings. My potting soil mixes must be way too dense because I had to cut off all of the roots on my varicosum because it was rotting so bad and I had no idea. My pink princess, I had to cut off some roots. I think those were the big ones. Oh, this one was completely rotted, uh, so that had to come off. Everyone else is doing okay. I'm nervous because we do have a new forgetty eye leaf coming out right now, and the worst thing you could ever do is move an anthurium leaf while you're trying to, you know, do stuff. Raven! Hello! I'm gonna move these out to the living room. We'll get started on the next part of the greenhouse. Also, besides the varicosum and the El Choco, I have not found any other thrips. So this might be massive overkill, but I refuse to be too careful because thrips are disgusting. They bite people and plants and they infest so easily because they're so small. So we have pretty much all of my greenhouse plants. Looking at them now, I'm considering selling some more just because I don't need this many. I don't know. I just feel like they don't make me as happy. Raven, she's like, play with me. Oh, she's gonna get your feet. Anyways, so here's all the plants. There's so three bigger plants left in the greenhouse and then cuttings. It's still kind of weird looking at everything unpotted. It's kind of sad. I don't like it. Hi. Even. Hello. Hello. No one's played with you yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> you gotta rub all over that bag? Is it such a good bag? Cool. These are gonna stay here. And then I'm going to finish up getting everything out of the greenhouse and then I'm gonna spray these down really, really well. We've gone through the left or the right side of the greenhouse now and the left and I have not found any more thrips. So here's hoping it was just like five and I caught them so early because I cannot handle more than that. Also, we are on episode four of Sinbad. This has taken approximately 40 minutes so far, so not too long. So this is the current situation. It's completely empty except for like a couple of uh, cuttings and stuff. But you know, this is really good timing because I have to pack up a bunch of plants to ship tomorrow. So this is pretty good timing actually. You know, the impulsive part of me just wants to throw this entire greenhouse away because it's big and ugly, but also there's no way I'd get my plants to grow if I did that. All right, let's keep going. Deal with a bunch of this stuff.
Okay, so here's the situation. It is completely cleared out. This is the only spot where any dirt got on my carpet. So putting down those plastic garbage bags was absolutely necessary. I cannot stress that enough. Like dirt was flying everywhere. I am going to be washing my bed too. Just because I was spraying some of the pesticides like on some of my plants up here. It's because I had nowhere else to do it. So I am going to be washing all of my sheets, which will probably take the rest of the day. Now I'm going to Lysol wipe down every single surface in here. And then I'm going to move on to the plant portion of this video. So here's everything for the moment. Some of these things are gonna get potted up, other of these things are going to get boxed up and shipped out. I haven't found more than literally three thrips, so I think I caught it way super early. Here's the children, they're doing okay. I'm nervous for how it's going to make all of them react. I also chopped up my Milano so that we can sell her. Not the whole thing, the rest of hers right there. Raven! Raven! It's time to repot. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. We are going to repot now, and I'm going to finish playing the Never Have I Ever challenge. What you saw me make was a lemon ginger drop. Oh, ginger lemon drop. Super good. I bought that mix for the lemon drop at the store today, and it's much better than my own way of making it. <laughs> it gets the job done. It tastes similar, but this is like way less tart. It doesn't burn my tongue as much, you know what I mean? Okay, so we are doing Alocasia cupria, Philodendron squamiferum, Philodendron bilitae, Warraquinum, Anthurium, Rigetii, another bilitae, Monster deliciosa albo, and Burl Marks. Fantasy. Okay, let's do this. This looks like a disaster. <laughs> Never have I ever bought a plant just because it was trending on Instagram. I think that every single person on planet Earth has done that because that's how you discover plants that you like. Basically by buying plants that you don't like, but you think that you're gonna like them, but then you don't. The mix I'm going to be using for my Anthurium is going to be basically completely just orchid bark because the only plants that weren't rotting were the ones that or in orchid bark only. Um, my Monstera Deliciosa is gonna go in a cactus mix, orchid bark mix, and then same for my Philodendron. Never have I ever met another plant tuber. The only other plant tuber I've met in person is Harley. I'm the only one in my friend group that makes videos, so everything is good. Never have I ever neglected a plant and supposedly let it die a slow death. I can name you right now Two plants I've done that to, a Hoya Crinkle 8 and a Pothos Snow Queen. Never have I ever bargained with a plant seller, seller on a sale of a plant. I, unless it's through an Etsy shop with a fixed price, or unless it's through some other like web shop with a fixed price. If I'm buying from someone on Instagram or Facebook, I always bargain. There's only one time someone has been upset because I bartered with them. It was this person actually like a week ago and they were selling this like super damaged Milano Chrysum. Okay, here's the deal. Okay. So they were selling two Milano Chrysum. Well, both of them they were selling for $50. One of them was in perfect condition, putting out a new leaf, gorgeous, $50 which is a good price. The other one was super, super damaged, also for $50. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Plants that are damaged are damaged. It's a damaged product. You're not gonna sell a shirt like this shirt. If this was $50 with no holes, that makes sense. But if this shirt had a hole in it, you would sell this for a lower price. So I said I would do 40 ship. She ignored me for two days and then got back to me and was like, hey, sorry, I was really put off by the fact that you just didn't accept my price. Or she said something like, hey, like I was pretty upset that, like that you tried to like negotiate and I said I'm sorry I just don't think that 
you can sell two plants, one in perfect condition and one in less than perfect condition for the same price. So I bartered. And I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, if that hurts their feelings, but like that's just dumb in my opinion. I'm sorry. One of my friends bought the healthy Milano Chrysum and then she sent it to the wrong address anyways. So I guess it's a good thing I didn't buy and the damaged one never got sold. Her argument for why it was more expensive was that it was more well-rooted, but that's not, that doesn't constitute a damaged product in my opinion. I don't know, I hate it. Like a lot of people do that. They sell plants for one price. Like, it doesn't matter if there's damage on it. Like, there are even, there are in-person plant shops I've been to. They'll be selling an Albo that is perfect condition, right? Like, flawless. Perfect. $200. Okay, it's expensive, but it makes sense. It's an Albo. And then there'll be one that has, like, a leaf that's half torn off. Another one is sun bleached, and it's got, like, old bug damage. And it's, like, also $200. And I'm just like, no! No! Stop it! Sell plants for what they're worth. Not what you have like this rule of how you price, I don't know, I think it's dumb. Never have I ever killed a rare plant. I actually killed a rare plant recently. I almost never kill rare plants because it makes me want to die. I killed recently, you're gonna all scream at me and I'm gonna get hate mail over this. I killed a philodendron varicosum. I know. It was so cute too. It was just kind of tucked away in my greenhouse in a spot where I just couldn't see it and it got root rot and died. Which seems to be a running theme, so it's still in my uh, bedroom because I'm too sad to throw it away. Never have I ever traveled over an hour to shop and visit a nursery. On three different occasions, I have driven all the way to Salt Lake City to go plant shopping. JJ's Nursery in Cactus and Tropicals. Did I already drink? I feel like I just drank to that one. I'm having to drink to everything. I'm gonna have to drink myself another one. Never have I ever bought a plant that was so large I could barely fit it in my car. Salt Lake City, I bought a Alocasia Zebrina and it barely fit in my car. It also barely fit in my budget. Never have I ever showered with my plants. This question actually bothers me because I just don't get it. I don't know if it's just these people with these massive houses and these big showers, like Plantarina, if you've seen her shower, because she's shown you how she showers her plants. I'm drinking to this, but like, I haven't showered with my plants. People have these massive showers in their massive houses, which no shame, no shame. I respect you for working so hard. And um, by the way, look at how sad this is. Isn't that horrible? And she can just like put plants in there and the plants will be so far out of the way of water, she can just shower with her plants with her in the shower. That's like a dream. Right now, I can't even shower with like all of myself basically in the shower. I have a very small shower. Never have I ever went on a no plant buy and it was successful. I've just never been on a no buy. I just don't believe in those. If you are every single day trying to not buy plants, it's gonna keep in your head more that you want to buy plants. And then you're gonna end up thinking about buying plants more than if you just weren't on a no buy and were responsible with your money. It's like going on a diet. Like if you go on a diet, all you're gonna think about is the fact that you just want nachos so bad. But if you just don't go on a diet and you just live a healthy life and you eat nachos sometimes because that's okay, then you're gonna be much happier in my opinion. At least he can kind of hold himself up right now though. Normally I have a fork in there to hold him up, but my forks are dirty and that one was gross and it needed to be washed. This sleeve's coming in and it's gonna be way bigger than that one, so it's fine. Never have I ever gotten a plant for free. I have gotten so many plants for free. Normally it's when I buy from Etsy sellers and then they either know my channel, they uh, they see my my username on Etsy, which is Plant Me Ashley, and then they know from my Instagram. So they'll send me a free plant usually as like a cute little sponsor or just to be extra sweet. Oh, and then this was given to me for free. This is my Bro Marks Fantasy. Denise from uh, Tropical Plant Seductions on Instagram sent that to me as a 21 year old birthday gift. How cute is that? That's, that was so nice of her. Cause I was gonna buy it from her and then she ended up just surprising me. Oh, that is so cute. Chris, look at this. Isn't that adorable? Isn't he so good? Do you wanna name him? Henry? 
This is Henry. Never have I ever bought a plant as a gift for someone else and then decided to keep it. I have actually never done that. Never have I ever sold a plant online. I have sold 75 plants online. Honestly, I hate repotting plants. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I think it's the most boring thing in the world. It's a good thing you guys like watching people do it because it gives me a reason to film these. <laughs> never have I ever deleted mean or inappropriate comments on YouTube. I actually delete every single mean or inappropriate comment from YouTube because I just don't put up with that. Especially because of some drama that went down in January. Don't ask me about it. I won't talk to you about it. People are pretty mean to me, honestly. And there's a lot of people who I was friends with. And then after that happened, they don't like me anymore. And they don't even know what happened. So I guess I figured out who my real friends were. <laughs> I have my... I pretty much delete every single negative comment. And then on top of that, I also have my likes and dislikes ratio turned off because I don't want all of you guys to see the 12 people that show up as soon as I post a video, literally seconds after I post a video. These people have my notifications on, they come to my YouTube video and they dislike it. They're leftover people from January. So I have that turned off. And also I just feel mentally better um, because of not having that on because I don't have to see. Instagram, I think, is like has it down because they have it where you just see likes. Imagine if on Instagram, for every time you posted, you could also see exactly how many people disliked your video. You could say that it's like, oh, well that's like the way YouTube is, so like you should just be fine with it. But I feel healthier and emotionally more stable uh, not seeing that and also not seeing the likes. I don't really care. I just, I like to interact with my comment section and that's about it. I don't need to see the likes and the dislikes, so. This guy's getting a pot downsized because he was uh, struggling with some rot. Never have I ever bought a plant with the intent to propagate it for its cuttings for sale. I have definitely done that um, because I have my plants and then I have my shop plants grow it out and then cut it back and then sell those cuttings. But I think everyone does that. It's just a way to get your money back on your plants too because plants are so expensive. Let's say that you wanted to buy a billy tie. It cost $128. If you cut those billy ties down, root them to the point where they're growing new, new growth, a couple of new leaves, you can then sell that as a new plant. And I personally think $128 for a billy, for a billy tie is way too expensive. I sold them for like, I can't even remember, maybe $50. I think I only sell billy ties for like 50 bucks, maybe 60 shipped. Cause you have to also factor in heat packs and everything. It's just a way to like, if you want a plant, but you can't actually afford it, it's kind of like taking out a little loan and then you propagate it and then you sell the propagations and then you make the money that you lost back so that you're not just out $128. But I don't do that anymore. Now I pretty much only buy plants that I actually want. That was something that I would do like, like probably last year in like September and October. But all of my plants that I buy now are just for me. And then if they grow out um, and I wanna cut them back, maybe I'll sell them. The plants that I am super, super, super reluctant to sell are out of a poency, just because I love them so much. And then my rarer philodendron, which I guess out of a poency is one of those. All right, had to get a new camera battery. <laughs> Never have I ever went to a big box store and not gone to the garden center. I mean, before I was into plants. Even if I'm going to a big box store for something that's not plant related, I always go to the garden center first. Never have I ever met some of my followers in person. So I went to Salt Lake City for my birthday and there was a rare plant swap and every single person there, maybe one or two people, except for one or two people, knew who I was and uh, three people asked for a picture with me. It was so weird. So that was cool. The followers that I've met in person, it's been like my patrons over a Zoom call, but I've never like met, like done like a meetup or anything because that feels weird because I have only 9,000 subscribers now, by the way, we are at 9,100 subs. So hopefully by the end of this month, we'll be at 10,000, which is crazy, but yeah. Yep, that's it. That's the tag, and these are my plants, and they're repotted. Everything else is either getting sold and shipped, or it's got to propagate. I'm going to put these away, and I will show you me putting them away, since this is a two-part video. We are doing cleaning my greenhouse of thrips, and also this weird tag. Raven says hello. Raven says hello. Hello. Yeah, give it me some so more. Bad. Okay, so now that that is out of the way, we have everything potted up. 
my greenhouse looks so small because half of my plants are in wine glasses right now. <laughs> um, they'll be good in like a month or two for me to pop back up again, but really the root rot was so incredibly bad, some of them just don't have any roots anymore. So, uh, anyways, here's all of my plants. Uh, now which I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to water them. After you repot plants, it's very important to water them immediately after, at least in my opinion, because then it helps the dirt settle and it helps the roots kind of like get wet to want to stick to the orchid bark that they're in. So we're gonna give everyone a nice, even, if you're new to my YouTube channel, you wouldn't know that I water every single time with Newt. It is a organic fertilizer. It is amazing. It's made of 12 non-toxic ingredients to your pets. So if your pet for some reason licked some of your Newt, they wouldn't die because there's no poisonous chemicals in it. But what I do is I drop about five to eight drops in my watering can and then I water with it. If you want to get a hold of new or you want to try nine gallons for nine dollars, which is like half of the price that it normally costs, you can go to buynewt.com forward slash Ashley to try it out. Also, it helps me. Right, Raven? Did you hear that? Oh my god. I totally forgot. There was something I wanted to talk about. What the heck? Oh, I just zoomed in. I wanted to review the product I used, which is Captain Jack's by Bonide. Basically, um, it is a spinosad based pesticide, which I guess is like kryptonite for thrips. When I used it, when I got it on my hands, I didn't feel like my hands were burning. Didn't feel like, because I've used a bunch of different pesticides by Bonide before. Usually just like the regular like houseplant pest ones, which are not a spinosad based formula. Those always burn like your hands and then they irritate your skin and then they smell. Same thing with like neem oil. It just really, really, really smells. And I just hate, I hate, I hate its smell. Also neem oil really doesn't do much when it comes to like pests, unless it's like preventing pests. It's a good pest to deterrent, but treating your plants with neem oil if they're sick isn't gonna do a whole lot. You either need to use a hydrogen peroxide water-based mix, which is pretty strong for pests, or some kind of pesticide mix. Usually spinosads are the best, but when I used it, it seemed to work super duper well. It, there was no smell, there was no odor, and it killed bugs. Like I watched them die. Yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Don't just trust neem oil for everything. People put way too much trust into neem oil, and that's why they're fighting bug infections for like months. So just uh, suck it up, buy Captain Jack's or something else. I'm not sponsored by the way by Bonide. I just love it. I always use Bonide products. This is by far my favorite product I've used, and I definitely won't be using a different one from now on. I literally killed a bug flying in the air with it, so. Hello. We've been expecting you. It's been a week. It's been a week since I have done the thrip thing. And so far we're good. I haven't seen any new thrips. All of my plants are okay. Everything is rooting in water. So it's all just kind of relaxing. I'm relaxing. I'm at the point in my college semester. Wow, I just spun, I'm sorry. That like offends you guys greatly when I do that. I'm at a point in my college semester when um, I only have two papers and two projects left and then I'm done with college forever! Sorry, I'm spinning again. I'm just offending all of you. I'm almost done. I'm almost completely done and I'm excited. So I'm celebrating. I put one of those Simply Lemonade eight ounce bottles in here and then added like a shot of vodka. So the great thing about lemonade and just lemons in general when it comes to alcohol is it just drowns out all the alcohol, you know what I mean? So also yes, I know you can see that it's day. It's like 6.30 PM, we're fine. I wanna just show you the plants in my greenhouse real quick so that you can see how they're doing. Everything has kind of been thrown around. There are now 50% less plants in my greenhouse than normal. It's just a lot harder to keep humid. Like I have to run the humidifier for longer, so. Are you excited, Raven? <laughs> are you excited? No more thrips. She has been a loaf today. Oh, you are so cute, honey. So cute, look at your little toes and your little tail. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so here are plants. Everything is doing okay. I found one thrip on this plant here. I made the exposure too dark. 
I found one thrip on here, and then everything else here didn't have thrips. The one thing that did have the most was, I can't even remember. I know I saw, oh, it was the Veracosum, which is all uh, cut up now, which is probably why. I didn't remember, but the El Choco is doing good. It's got a bunch of dirt on it, but it doesn't have any more thrips, so that is really what we're looking for. <laughs> and then um, the Veracosum, this poor guy, he had to get all chopped up because it was just like, he was so rotted, like his root rot was so bad. This is burn from fertilizer right here. But other than that, everything is doing really well. Check out this, my forgetty eye is giving us a new leaf. Here's a hand comparison. So it's already big. I think it's gonna get as big as this one. And that's everything. Raven is gone. She followed me into the bedroom and now she's laying down in the bed. So it's just me, hello. I have noticed behind me, I moved my entire living room around. So that's cool. But other than that, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and tweet me at Plant Me Ashley. I know that this video was a little different. I hope that you enjoyed it. And welcome to all of the new subscribers. There's a lot of you. Welcome. I hope that you like it here. I am still finishing up my college semester. I have two weeks left. And then I'm done with college forever. Videos are not going to be every day again until after I finish college, so that is something to keep in mind. But normally here we do daily posting. After I graduate, it might turn into every other day, just so that I can post. Give you guys some time to watch that video and then post again. Also, it gives me time to not have to worry about editing, filming, so I can like shoot one day and then edit it, and then I can have a better system, so we'll see. Also, please support me on Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash plant me actually. We almost have a hundred patrons, which is crazy. I'm gonna edit this video. By the time you're seeing it, it should be Monday. So that this isn't up on Monday. I don't know what happened, but something happened. <laughs> Have fun! I hope that you guys are enjoying your quarantines. I hope that it's not all terrible. Stay safe. I'm gonna be doing a video soon where I show you all the plants I've traded this month, and there's a lot of them, so get excited. Okay, bye! I'll see you later! Jeez, don't be mad at me! Okay, bye. <laughs> bye!